but uh, <clears throat> but let me show you guys something I have created a USB and uh, it got a boot menu and the boot menu consists of multiple operating systems which can be easily boot up by the USB drive which is connected over here it's a 8 GB USB drive yes it's a 8 gigabyte USB drive you can see Okay, so I'm gonna <coughs> demonstrate the USB drive that I've created. I'm gonna restart my computer now. I'm going to press F2 key F2 key I'm going to press to go into the mm, BIOS of my computer since I put a password in there so I'm going to put the password if you don't have any password then you will straight away get into the BIOS so let me put up my password now Okay, so here is my BIOS. I'm going to go into the boot and over there I'm going to select the hard drive and I will select the USB drive. That's my hard drive and that's the USB drive 8 GB which uh, I'm going to select it as the boot priority. And after that I'll come out uh, and then I'll select hard drive as the first boot priority and then I'm gonna save these changes I'm gonna click yes and now you will see the boot menu of the multiple operating systems and the applications they have I have built in the USB so there we go guys it's the USB drive connected and that's the menu that I have created and in this menu you will see the options so in my collection one if you go inside you will see another menu and there we go multiple application with the operating system setup so I got Windows XP setup in there Windows Vista setup CPU identification utility tool then I got disk manager off crack federal computer crown linux ubuntu and i go into my collection too and there we go it's another menu which consists of backtrack 3 mem test system resort to dban mini windows xp g parted trinity rescue cd and conboot and free dos and if I click on that, I'll go back onto my previous menu. So, for example, let me show you some thing. Let's go into the CPU identification utility. I'll click on this. It's on the USB, and now it shows the details of my CPU. It's a small program which gives the information about the computer CPU, what family it belongs to, what model and stepping it got in it and what other things are tied in it so okay so now it's restarting again it's going to again reboot with the USB now I don't need to select it again from the BIOS and it goes straight away into the USB boot up menu there we go now I'm going to select go into the collection one and suppose say for example I got Windows XP set up if I click on that so it will take me into the Windows XP setup as you can see it's a Windows setup and the files are checking up and it's going to check it it's loading the Windows files and it will straight away take me to the place where I can install the Windows XP onto my computer 
just in case if my computer get crash you can see the process is going on there we go and we came into the windows xp setup i'm not going to install the xp setup since i already got that onto my computer so i'm going to exit from this but uh, as you can see from this uh, usb you can easily set up your windows xp now we'll show you some another installation let me quick quickly quit from here it says f3 to quit so let me press f3 and it says enter to continue enter sorry f3 and then again f3 now press enter to restart Right, it's again booting up. I'll again go into the menu. Boot menu. There you go. And then we come back again to the collection one that I have got in here. And now I go into the X Vista setup. See, we got Vista setup in that 8 gig USB as well. So from here, I can easily go into my USB and I can select whatever the setup I want to onto my computer. So I'll go into the Vista setup now. There you go. And we got another menu comes up saying uh, Visto Windows Setup. So I'll go into that and click that one and see if the boot files are loading up. And these are the files loading for the Vista Setup, as you can see. almost that's it now it will enter into the Vista setup There you go so we got now windows vista setup ready to install on this computer as i'm not going to further go into this as i don't want that installation now to run over here so i'll go into the next screen and it says install now and it says oh i'll just i'll just click on the cancel i don't want to install and uh, are you sure you want to cancel thing? yes <coughs> it will reboot again the PC and then after that I will go into something else which will be quite interesting as I, as I got my Linux Ubuntu live CD on it as well so I can easily boot up my Linux from this USB so yeah, it's again going into the <coughs> USB boot up menu there you go and I go into my collection and then I go into my Ubuntu live CD. I can go into that, yes. Let me go into that. So this is Ubuntu right now. So it will take some a while because Ubuntu takes some time to load up, especially the live CD. So the great thing is that after the Ubuntu get load, I can easily access my internet from that live CD. So it's good, isn't it? Because after my live CD gets load up, I can check my emails and uh, just in case if my computer get crashed, my Windows XP get crashed, I can easily check my files and my <coughs> hard drives. I can still access them from this live CD. It's not actually live CD, it's a live USB as I have having this live Ubuntu 